you know, usually it, it, it doesn't bother me. I don't I don't need to know everything about Stone and, and Sonny. Obviously, there's still pain attached there, and I don't blame her. Stone was her first love. I mean... I guess we all think that losing our first love is tragic. But in Robin's case, it really is. <laughs> you know, she never talks about it. Not unless we're fighting, which obviously I try and avoid at all costs. Yeah, maybe I should have been tougher that night that Jason Morgan was threatening Ronnie Demesco with a gun. But how could she say that Jason wouldn't hurt it's him? It's not going to matter. Robin's always going to defend Sonny and Jason. It's the way she is. She's not going to change for me or anybody else. Well, I don't think it's unreasonable for you to want access to that part of her life since she's so close to them. Maybe. I don't even know if Robin could ever tell me. And that must make you feel pretty shut out. Patrick doesn't understand your loyalty to Sonny, and I have to say, he's got a point. Because he wasn't there. He didn't see how wonderful Sonny was with Stone. And when I found out I was HIV positive, how great he was with me. And I'll tell you, I honestly don't think I could have gotten through all of those months with Stone dying and my diagnosis if it wasn't for Sonny's love and support. And so for that, I will always see the good in Sonny, and if Patrick has a problem with that, I don't... There's nothing I can do about it. How convenient. What does that mean? Feel free to tell me to take a hike and that I'm full of it, but... Could it be that holding up the memory of Stone and what Sonny did for him... Could be sort of a boundary line? Or would it remind Patrick that you're HIV positive and he's not? And no matter how much you love each other... There are things that he can't understand. I understand. I'll get right on it. What's up? Sonny's arraignment isn't going so well. I'm trying to revoke his bail. That means Jason is already planning to bust him out. Yeah, that's a reasonable assumption. Look, this is going to put you in a really bad position, my friend. Really bad. I mean, if this thing escalates the way it looks like it's going to, all kinds of disparate elements are going to move in and try and fill up the void. That means you're going to have to balance your job against the possible dangers that your job is going to bring to your family. I'm talking about Ethan, maybe even Lulu. So there's no time to mess around here, Lucky. Get yourself together. It's going to get ugly. You have a great deal of experience with firearms. In fact, your records indicate many awards for marksmanship. So how did you manage to jam a gun and shoot yourself? Objection, she's badgering her own witness. Your Honor, Ms. Walsh obviously thinks Mr. Falconeri is lying. I move that all of his testimony be thrown out and that all charges against my client be dropped. Nice try, Ms. Miller. Wrap it up, Ms. Walsh. No further questions. Detective Falconeri, you may step down. Once again, Detective Falconeri's testimony notwithstanding, I remind the court of Mr. Corinthos's formidable resources and I ask that bail be revoked. I'm calling a brief recess to review. Don't go far. It shouldn't take very long. All rise.